morning. It's uh, 25 past four on Saturday morning. Um, just can't sleep again. Just put the kettle on, which is the noise you can probably hear in the background. So, went to bed about two o'clock. It was quite late, but I wasn't tired. Um, just basically laid there all night, tossing and turning. Just can't seem to settle my mind this evening. I get a bit like this from time to time, and try to be as open and honest as I can in the little vlog diary thing that I'm doing. So uh, I can't see me going to sleep today. Hopefully I'll sleep again tonight. But yeah, looks like it's an early start for Michael. And sun's supposed to be out from 7am, so maybe I'll nod off in the garden or a deck chair or something. The only benefit of being up this early is when no one else is awake is you discover things like this. Our baby's sweet stash she left on the couch. Don't tell her. Time is now ten past five in the morning. And seeing as I've got nothing better to do, I guess I may as well do the dishes that all the clampics have left since they return home from Wales. God damn it. So, so, um, of a morning now. I'm trying to take a moment just to be grateful, really. Um, I'm not a morning person at all, by any means. And I know this morning's a little bit different because I haven't actually been to sleep. But generally, I'm like so grumpy of a morning, don't want to speak to anyone. Um, but my sister always talks about gratitude, something she's really big into. Um, and she's right, you know, about being grateful for what we do have and be blessed for the life that we've got, um, whatever the circumstances or whatever you're going through. She's very much into that kind of thing, um, very humble person, you know, and is very grateful for what she does have, for, enough for what she does have, and she, she's very aware that there are people who are very much less fortunate than we are so um that's something that i'm trying to take on board and something that i'm um just taking five minutes every morning just to sit and be thankful for the day ahead however that may turn out because the truth is you know like tomorrow isn't isn't given it's not promised this vlog could maybe not even go out and I could go out this afternoon and get it by a bus and this gets found on a memory card years later. You know, it's um sounds a bit mad, but it's like really not impossible. So yeah, be grateful for your day. I got this book not last Christmas, the Christmas before. Um my friend John Cole oh was like raving about it, telling me to buy it. I've read, I think I've read the first chapter and it's really good, but I um I still haven't finished this, so I'm going to, over the next couple of days, make a point of trying to plough through this as best as I can. It is, after all, international number one bestseller. So another thing that I'm grateful for today is I'm grateful that we got up and still had a house because somebody not naming any names because I don't know who it was, not only left the door unlocked, left the door completely wide open all night while everyone was in bed. So, lucky, you know, not sat on the floor <laughs> and the house hasn't been stripped bare by some burglar. 
always make sure you lock up. Usually I do that before I go to bed, but I obviously didn't last night, did I? Now I know this looks like a strange combination. That's because it is a strange combination. Breakfast of champions today. Honey hoops with apple slices. Can you tell I'm not well yet? So because I'm at that age where I'm basically like rivaling a dinosaur at the moment, I'm getting all the aches and pains and stuff. And my knee's been killing me all night. So raided the uh, first aid box. Get on this. Every type of flu thing you can think of. Nasal inhalers, normal inhalers, cod liver oil, vitamin D, more vitamin D, COVID masks, vapor rub, thermometers, bloody tampons. All I want is a bloody paracetamol. There's not an even here. As usual, Bailey wakes up, wants a belly rub, comes straight outside, plonks herself in the garden. Absolutely no Fs given. Yes, I'm talking about you. Three days late. Probably also make it clear, um, it's now two days after the original video. So it's now Monday afternoon. We've jumped from Saturday morning to Monday afternoon. Didn't do much over the weekend. Uh, didn't feel like it. So the sister's gone full green finger mode, looking like Wild Kingdom out here at the minute. Yeah, you put the wild pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good comes for free. Does it be? Ignored again. Oh, are we going off grid? Bonnie peppers, you know. So she was painting the fence the other day. I'm liking all these creatures. Come on. Big turtle going up there soon. Starting to get looked at the part again. Not bad. Summer's nearly here. Bailey. Sanka, you dead? Yeah, man. Bailey. Bailey. Look. Oh. Hang on, there's movement. There's movement. What's going on? Are you depressed, dog? You just can't be asked, can you? You're just chilling today. Like every other day. I never use this, but um, our neighbours have got the alleyway. Really nice. It's like Wild Kingdom out here. Literally, that's our back door. A little bit of bunting up, I think. So we don't use it, but the neighbours sit out here quite often. Got it quite nice. Look at this. A little butterfly. Backs it there, if you can see. Alleyway Zoo. So today is tip run day. Been sorting out the garden. Haven't um, done much in the way of video diary or vlogs, but we've been painting and tidying up and doing a few bits out there. It looks fabulous again. This is all the crap bags of soil from when we did the seating area the other week. Old bike of Darjay's, which is knackered. I was going to do it up and turn it into something for someone else, but I haven't got the time or the funds right now, so um, it's going, it's, it's knackered anyway. So yes, trip to the tip. And it was lava. How come as soon as the sun's out, everyone decides to go to the tip? Try to write the passage. Mission for this afternoon after uh, Green Fingers over there is finished, as I'm going to jet wash all my flags. Garden's looking the part, man. So yeah, we'll see if we can get the... Yes, this is the before, and I'll do the after shortly.
I wouldn't eat off it like, but it's much better than what it was. Later that night. Hey, hopefully you can hear me with the traffic. I'm just, uh, what's that? It is noisy. Uh, just walking up Parliament Street, heading home. Uh, being to like a support group kind of meeting in town, really, really good. Just what I needed. Um, heading home, I'm gonna pick up the bike and then I'm gonna ride up to Mum and Dad's for a bowl of some famous homemade Mum and Dad's scouts. So, happy today. Hopefully, it carries on. Mum and Dad's homemade famous scouts. Delicious. That's it for today, people. Thanks for watching. See you next time.